Hello, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today Unity released a free 2D game kit. Uh, as I mentioned, completely free. Uh, released it a couple of hours back, and today we're going to take a quick look at what that entails. Now, if you want to grab it, it's available at Unity.com, and it's also available in their App Store. So you go in here, game kit's explained here, and the cool part about this game kit, along with the kit, there's actually a whole bunch of documentation as well. Uh, so you've got this getting started guide and these reference guides on how to use the aspects of the actual game kit. Now, one thing to be aware of, they um, the position this game kit, or the, the idea behind it, or design behind it, is that it requires zero programming. And that's a little misleading. Basically what it is, is it's modular, and they've done a lot of the programming so that you can customize the heck out of it without requiring coding yourself. But if you're going to create your own 2D game using the kit, um, either you're going to adhere to exactly the functionality that the kit provides, or you're going to have to learn how to code. So this is more of an introductory kit, but it is a very um, flushed out and full-featured game kit. So to grab it, just head on into Unity go to your asset store um, and pick out the 2d game kit oh come on I had it selected earlier so let's just search for it so 2d game kit is what it's called and you see it's available right here just go ahead and import that into your scene this download is about 300 megabytes yeah 322 megabytes uh, and then once you're done import it into your scene and here is for example one of the scenes opened uh, in the actual game kit and you can see it's a uh, it's impressive quality graphics they've done here for sure uh, you can go ahead and play it as you can see here so wasp keys to move spacebar to jump and so on i think escape brings up your menu and then we'll quit out. So full featured game, multiple levels. You can transition between them. I believe there are a total of, you know, let's bring up the scenes here. Yeah, there are starting screen plus five different zones you can zone in through. So here, let's go back and show you the first one. As you can see here, uh, the zones themselves are created out of tile maps. Uh, they're recently added functionality. So you can see like that. Uh, of course, we got your background and your foreground layers as well. Um, but where they've really put a lot of the work into is basically in your prefabs right here. So here's your character, Ellen, for example. Um, you see here she is instanced in the scene. And she's pre-configured. So we come on down over here. We can see, uh, going to the inspector, um, they've got all the different components required for her. But they've also done uh, linking so we can change things up. So if we want to change out any of the values for it, they've mapped it all out for us. And sometimes uh, there's... Uh, uh, manipulators available for it for doing the manipulation etc so it, it's really designed to be uh, accessible that you can tweak all of these things to your heart's content and you go back here you'll see we had several um, different prefabs available so if environment we want to drag instances or interactive items into the environment so we can put an info post into our game like so select our info post and then you'll see here we've got uh, various different um, events that we've hooked up to it that we can configure this way as opposed to you know having to jump in and learn and figure out how to code about them so they're basically pre-built building blocks for creating your own platform style games um, and then on top of that we can go uh, one step further and you see here you've got this new menu option called kit tools go ahead and create a new scene so my scene and create and then what you will see is it creates a new scene for you, but it pre-populates it with all the different pieces that are required to make the actual game. So then at this point in time, we can come in. It's all tile map based. We could add editor tiles, add tiles into the world, uh, draw it, paint it as we saw fit. But you see, we automatically have our character brought in. Uh, our UI is there as well, etc. So the building blocks you need to make your game are automatically imported when you use the kit tool. Now, of course, you're not going to be able to create your own 2D game from scratch using this because you're stuck with their character, their configuration etc but if you do start digging down behind the scenes we go down here we go look into um, the scripts for example and we do have all of the code all of the projects being done behind the scenes here for the different pieces so uh, bullet code is available right here oops didn't mean to open visual studio i don't know if i've opened it since i've installed so I'll head on back. But anyways, you can see um, all of the code that is actually running this and powering this is there. So you see here's the logic behind um, the bullet part of the game kit 2D. So when you are ready to go one step further from, you know, just playing around with the prefabs, you do have that option there. But they have created it so that all of the... Um, the logic, etc., is exposed in the inspector, uh, so you can kind of really just sort of pl 
play around with creating an environment without having to get into the muck behind the scenes, at least until you're ready to go ahead and do that. And as we just witnessed, there is the uh, kit tools that makes it available to uh, create your own scene instantly. I don't know what that actually does, but we'll leave that alone. Uh, so once again, head on back over here. You see the, um, the project also has a get started. Basically, this is a step-by-step, slide-by-slide walkthrough of the various different pieces that you'll use in creating a level. Um, and it shows you how to actually go ahead and paint the tile maps, etc. So it is a very comprehensive tutorial that goes along with the kit. So if you are looking to learn, um, you know, 2D game development in Unity, this is actually an excellent place to start because they have encapsulated away a lot of the complexity for you, and they have paired it with some very, very good documentation here. Uh, they're also working on a 3D kit that's going to be coming. Uh, I don't actually know when that will be available, but it's the same basic premise, but with a full 3D game as opposed to a 2D game. So that's it for now. This is the newly released 2D game kit from Unity. Uh, what do you think of it? Does it look interesting to you? Is it something that you're going to check out or don't care. Uh, so anyways, that was it. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you found it useful. I will see you all later. Goodbye.